Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Crystal Henry Show. Welcome to my kitchen where success is found right in the recipes of this show. So I am Crystal Henry and I love to share the word and I love to give you the full paramount, positive, powerful, prolific, profound experiences in not only the word, but in my life. I am an author, a speaker, a teacher, and an evangelist who has been made to lead millions. Let me coach you from your what ifs to your what is. You know, there have been setbacks in my life that was supposed to make me crumble, but instead it gave me the ability to come back with a campaign for coming back from work hurt, church hurt, and from betrayal but it's your time to proclaim your purpose and declare your destiny. So join me on this episode. We are talking about determination. Are you determined enough? We're going to dive into this amazing, powerful word, and I need you to get your pen, your paper, and lean in. We are coming from Philippians chapter 3, verses 13 and 14. So before we get started, I just want to thank my amazing underwriters for your support, your love, and your kindness. And then I just want to thank you for tuning in on today. So we're going to pray, and then we're going to dive into this word. Heavenly and most gracious Father, we thank you, we praise you, we honor you, Lord God. We ask you, Father God, to just have your way on today. We thank you for allowing the words of life to come off the pages, Lord God, and bring life, give understanding, knowledge, wisdom, like only you can. Father God, let your Holy Ghost fire meet each one of us right where we are, Lord God, as we watch, as we anticipate your glory and your greatness. We thank you, God, for this day. Now, God, have your way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen again. So like I said, we are going to be dealing with Philippians chapter 3, verses 13 and 14. And that word reads, brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, and I reach forward to those things which are ahead. I press forward toward the goal for the prize of the upward call in Christ Jesus. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers, the hearers, and most of all, the doers of his holy word. So yes, we are going to talk about the press. Now, did you know that you have to have determination when it comes to press, pressing, moving, pressing forward. And you know what? You also have to have determination when it comes to forgetting those things which are behind you. I spend a lot of time and I spent a lot of time focusing on what a conversation would have, could have, should have been. Oh, if I had a responded like this or responded like that, it would have been better. I would think of all the comebacks um, the snapbacks, what y'all say today, the clapbacks. If I had thought about all the clapbacks that I could have made or said or done, it would have been better. I would have really got them. But then I had to stop focusing on what would have, could have, or should have happened because why? That was all in the past. Have you been stuck in a place where you focus so much on the past? that you can't focus on your right now, or you can't focus on your next, well, I need you to push. We all need to push past the woulda, the shoulda, if I, if I only knew, if I could have, we need to drop all of that. Because why? It's done and over. Finish, kaput, that's it. It is over. 
So how do I get my mind to only focus on those good memories, to focus on the things that I should have learned or the lessons learned? Well, you focus on the lessons learned by the way of the word of God. And so on today, God is saying, I want you, my brethren. That's how it starts off. Philippians 3 and 13 says, brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended. So that means sister, child, lady, hun, friend, I need you to not count everything as apprehended. Like it is not the final, it's not the finale. But one thing I need you to focus on right now is forgetting those things which are behind. Drop them, drop the anger, drop the bitterness, drop the fear, drop the madness, drop the, why wouldn't, why would they do something like that? Why would they do me like that? What was, what were they thinking? What do they think of me? What kind of person do they think that, that I am that they would think I would do that or I would want that? Forget it, forget it. And now I want you to focus your mind on what the word of God says. God is saying, stop focusing on foolishness. Stop focusing on what you cannot change. We can't change the past. It already happened. But now he said, but when but, B-U-T, when that word comes into play, that means that everything that was said before, forget about it. Forget about it. Let it go. Drop it. <sighs> Breathe and let that go. And then it says, reaching forward. I need you to reach forward. I need you to reach forward, reach into your destiny, reach into your next. I need you to reach forward. So forgetting those things which are behind you and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. Okay, reach towards the things that are ahead. So what's ahead of me? What's ahead? What is my destiny calling for? Well, it is calling for us to focus on our future, to press beyond our past. And so the word press, let me give you some synonyms, a little definition for press. Pressing forward, that means that you're making a focused effort. If you had binoculars, you would be focusing on finding that item, that deer, that whatever you're trying to focus on, that target. So that's what press is. You are pushing with force, your momentum, your exertion, your physical force. You are laboring. You are propelling yourself beyond what had your head boggled, what had your mind clouded. We're getting out of the cloudy mind we're getting out of the fog, we're getting out of the past, and we're pressing forward. And so when we press forward, there is a certain amount of momentum. There is always pressure in the press. Did you know that? There's always pressure in the press. When you stand up, you're putting pressure, you're applying pressure on your feet, you're utilizing your muscles, and you're pushing your body up when you stand up. When you press forward, you're using your muscles, you're pushing forward. So now I need you to use the muscles of your mind and press forward into your future. See, God has a plan and a purpose for what? For me, for you, for us. He has a plan not to harm us, but to give us a future and a hope. And so when you apply the proper pressure to press forward, you're forgetting. You're also getting away from the past. Did you know when you think about your car, okay, and you're sitting in the driver's seat, how big is that windshield? That windshield is huge. How big is the rear view mirror? Yeah, it's about like that, right? It's about like that. And so the rear view mirror is small. We look at the rear view mirror and we use it to what? Back up. But it's a small mirror. God is saying, I don't need you to look at that rear view mirror and back up into your past. 
God is saying, I need you to look and focus at the windshield. The windshield is big. The windshield is shielding wind and it's shielding bugs from hitting your face. But the windshield allows you to see. You can't put a whole lot of, you can't put tent on your windshield, right? And when a whole lot of bugs or snow or ice or stuff gets on your windshield, you got to do what? You got to scrape it. You got to clean it. You got to wash it off, right? And so God is saying, your future, clean it, wash it off with the word. Focus your mind, put the pressure, focus on moving forward. The windshield is bigger. The windshield is greater. And your what? Your destiny is bigger. Your destiny is greater. Your destiny is forward. Your destiny is not behind. Now you might have to back up a little bit to remember um, some of the lessons that you learned in your past, but bring that to your remembrance so that you won't have to replay it again in your future. But don't spend a whole lot of time backing up, looking at that rear view mirror and backing up. Spend more time just driving forward. Drive forward. Get your press forward. Get your momentum, the force that you need, the focus that you need to move forward. Now, when you are focused, what's the other thing you are? You are determined. You are determined. The word determined means that you have willpower, that you have made a decision. You have drawn the line and you have made a decision. So when you are determined, you have made a decision to do something. So God in this word is saying, I want you to be determined about pressing forward. I want you to be determined about moving forward. So what are we supposed to do? Forget those things that are behind. Forget about trying to get in that rear view mirror and go backwards. No, matter of fact, I am grateful and I thank God that um, it's so funny that that was the one thing that I had to uh, repeat in my driver's test. Don't tell nobody. That was the one thing that I failed was um, the drivers, the backing up, the reverse. Um, and so I am thankful that I passed the second time. Sometimes when we are going through life, sometimes when we're going through things, we are forgetting those things which are what? Behind. But we are going to press forward. So when I failed my driver's test, my backing up, I had to forget about failing it when I took it the second time. And when I took it the second time, I didn't worry about the fact that I failed it. I focused on, I could do it. I focused on, I could do it. And I told myself I could do it. And so the thing about telling yourself you can do it is you can do it. And so I passed the second time. Take this scripture as if it was a test. And God's saying, I need you to not think that whatever you did in the past, it is involved in your future. Yeah, you did that in your past. God is a God of what? The second, the third, the fifth, the 25th chance. God allows us to be renewed. So he allows us to be a new creature in Christ. So don't worry about what you apprehended or what you comprehended, but focus on the fact that you have a bigger picture, a better, a greater future. So don't get stuck in your past, but move forward to your future. So it says, um, it's reaching forward to those things which are ahead. That's Philippians 3 and 13. 3 and 14 says, I press towards the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. God is calling you up and God is calling you out. Did you know that? He's calling you up and he's calling you out, out of your past, 
and out of your fear, out of your doubt, out of your uncertainty. He's doing that, right? So when we look at your determination, that means that you've made a decision to focus your willpower on moving forward. Have you ever been fixated on something? Have you ever had a staring contest where you stared right in the eyes of someone and one, they had to look away? I need you to be so focused and fixated on your future that you don't look away, that you don't win this staring contest. Set your goals, be determined, be fixated, set what you plan on doing, pray about it. Say, God, you have a future and a hope for me and I want to achieve it and I want to attain it. And then I need you to put some pressure behind your press. It says in verse 14, I press towards the goal. What are your goals? What is your prize? What is your destiny? I press towards, I press towards the prize the upward call, I press. So when you focus in your mind on pressing, then what do you do? You do it, you accomplish it, get fixated on it, right? And then when you set your goals, when you set a plan and then you pray about it and then you put some affirmation with it, then what? God has to show up, God has to show out, God has to answer that. And guess what? God's plans are greater than what? Our plans. God's future and destiny for us is greater than what? Our future, our plans, and our destiny. God is going to bring many things to pass. God is going to reveal many things to us along the way. But guess what? We got to keep pressing. We got to keep stepping. We got to keep moving towards that prize moving towards that mark. Let me tell you something. I used to run track. And the thing about running track is you never wanted to get in your uh, uh, opponent's lane. You never wanted to get in the um, person's lane next to you on either side. You never wanted to get out of the lane and maybe fall out on, into the field or off the track. Why? Because you would become disqualified. I don't want you to become disqualified. In other words, don't go to the left, don't go to the right, but stay on the course, stay on the path that God has set before you and stay fixated on it and keep moving forward because the plan that God has for you is greater. God has gifted you. He's gifted us. He's put something in us for what? Our future and our hope. And so what I am saying to you today is, press, apply that pressure, apply that force, apply that, put a demand in the spirit on your destiny, put a demand in the spirit on reaching your prize. And as I was stating, when I used to run track, I couldn't get to the left or to the right, but I had to stay that course. The other thing I had to do is remember to get to the finish line first, second, third, the thing about the finish line with God, you don't have to be the very first one. But his word does say the last shall be first and the first shall be last. Don't worry about what place you finish, but focus on finishing. Focus on getting there. Focus on staying focused, fixated on the finish line. Your finish is great. And let me tell you this, I would love to tell you this. Now that you're focusing on your finish line, now that you're focusing on your prize, don't stop. Don't quit in the race. Don't quit on your story. Don't quit, but focus on the finish. You're gonna make it. One of the things I can say is a determined mind wins. We know the scripture says faith without works is what? is dead. But what happens when you put your faith and your works, it comes out to success. Faith plus works is success. Okay. And so what I will say is 
I pray for your success. I pray for you to finish and finish strong. We're, we're, um, I'll just give you a quick testimony. I have 11 authors in a book. And the thing that I had to do is I had to push some of the authors more than others to just finish their chapter so that what our whole book could be complete. And we ended up getting a bestseller. So all I can say is finish, finish, finish. Now, I hope this word blessed you from Philippians chapter three, verse 13 and 14. I hope that you are determined. I hope that you will put some pressure in your press and finish strong. Now, I am Coach Crystal Henry. Again, this is the Crystal Henry Show. Thank you so much for joining me. And I pray that this word blessed you. Thank you again to my underwriters. And thank you again to you amazing guests. Remember, the recipes are, of success are right here in Crystal's Kitchen on the Crystal Henry Show. Bye for now. Thanks again to Nico.
to God for life and for another day. Me I look on the sky. Me chant a prayer to the Father for guide down me ways. Me not go change up me mind. Me fi worship King Jesus in total spirit. King Jesus, he my the solution. Open up your eyes and analyze and realize. He my the only option. I said to my life here. Your own. 